Heart Room friends. We're reading Little House in the Big Woods, and we are on page 208. And we know that Laura and Mary and baby Carrie have a cousin named Charlie, and he got into some trouble when they were cutting the wheat. We know that he got stung by yellow jackets, and no one believed him because he was teasing the grown-ups all day, kind of like the boy who cried wolf. Let's see what happens. Laura and Mary and the cousins were playing quietly in the yard when they heard a loud blubbering cry. Charlie came bawling into the yard and his face was so swollen that the tears could hardly squeeze out of his eyes. His hands were puffed up and his neck was puffed out and his cheeks were big hard puffs. His fingers stood out stiff and swollen. There were little hard white dents all over his puffed out face and neck. Laura and Mary and the cousins stood and looked at him. Ma and Aunt Polly came running out of the house and asked him what was the matter. Charlie blubbered and bawled. Ma said it was yellow jackets. She ran to the garden and got a big pan of earth while Aunt Polly took Charlie into the house and undressed him. They made a big pan full of mud and plastered him all over with it. And then they rolled him up in an old sheet and put him to bed. His eyes were swollen shut and his nose was a funny shape. Ma and Aunt Polly covered his whole face with mud and tied the mud on with cloths. Only the end of his nose and his mouth showed. Aunt Polly steeped some herbs to give him for his fever. Laura and Mary and the cousins stood around for some time looking at him. Look at Charlie. Poor Charlie. He's all wrapped up with mud and an old sheet. Let's see what happens to him. It was dark that night when Pa and Uncle Henry came from the field. All the oats were in the shock, and now the rain would come, and it would not do any harm. Pa could not stay to supper. He had to get home and do the milking. The cows were already waiting at home, and when cows are not milked on time, they do not give so much milk. So he hitched up quickly, and they all got into the wagon. Pa was very tired, and his hands ached so that he could not drive very well, but the horses knew the way home. Ma sat beside him with baby Carrie, and Laura and Mary sat on the board behind them. Then they heard Pa tell about what Charlie had done. Laura and Mary were horrified. They were often naughty themselves, but they had never imagined that anyone could be as naughty as Charlie had been. He hadn't worked to help save the oats. He hadn't minded his father quickly when his father spoke to him. He had bothered Pa and Uncle Henry when they were hard at work. And then Pa told about the yellow jacket's nest, and he said it served the little liar right. After she was in the trundle bed that night, Laura lay and listened to the rain drumming on the roof and streaming from the eaves, and she thought about what Pa had said. She thought about what the yellow jackets had done to Charlie. She thought it served Charlie right, too. It served him right because he had been so monstrously naughty, and the bees had a right to sting him when he jumped on their home. But she didn't understand why Pa had called him a little liar. She didn't understand how Charlie could be a liar when he had not said a word. Interesting. Do you remember what Charlie did the day before? Do you remember what he was calling Pa and Uncle Henry about all day long? It kind of reminds me of the boy who cried wolf. Well, tomorrow we're going to read a story called The Wonderful Machine.